ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on Key Check. Hello everyone, I'm Gabby Concepcion, the attorney, not, not the artista. That's right, at ako naman si Jules Giang and this is Key Check with another season of Teaching and Learning. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Alamin natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season. Kaya naman, samahan niyo po kami until final week of the competition dahil may tatanghalin na naman tayong panibagong K-Check Champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. We have Shella, a senior student at Bulacan State University. She started doing stage design and is currently focusing on refining her skills backstage. Romy, on the other hand, is a political science student at UP Diliman and a certified community volunteer hailing from Mindanao. He teaches English online to Japanese learners. Yen is a student at UP Diliman studying food technology. Her interests include hiking, camping, watching K-dramas, and playing sports. She also enjoys listening to K-pop songs. And Raywell is our student from Our Lady of Fatima in Valenzuela, studying entertainment multimedia communication. His hobbies are drawing memes and sometimes lang daw singing. And these four will be competing, of course, under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. We have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. We also have Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology of UP Manila. And we have Professor To Austria of the College of Fine Arts from UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, Handa na ba kayo for our first round? Get ready to buzz in and collect those points. Let's begin. Welcome to round one. Let's begin. Question number one. In astronomy, how many years does it take the Earth to revolve around the sun? Romy, one. One is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. What is defined to be the basic principles and laws of a nation or an organization that determine the powers and the duties? Rami? Um, constitution. Uh, let me finish the question. Determine the powers and duties of the government and guarantee certain rights to the people in it? The answer is constitution. Okay, check. Question number three. In 2017, which city in Lanao del Sur became the setting for an armed conflict between government soldiers? Yen? Marawi City. Let me uh, complete the question. Between government soldiers and forces that include the Maute Group or Maute Group. The answer is Marawi. Okay, check. Question number four. The ICC is a worldwide tribunal seated in the, in the Hague, Netherlands. What does ICC stand for? Romy? International Criminal Court. International Criminal Court is correct. k -check. Question number five. Which eight-letter word means a thin round of unleavened corn meal or wheat flour bread usually eaten hot with a topping or filling? Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is tortilla. Question number six. Which among the five R's is the reprocessing of a resource so it can be used again? Just like melting used aluminum cans to make new aluminum products. Um, recycle. Recycle or recycling is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. What is the English term for the Spanish gracias? Uh, Romy. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let me finish. The Spanish is gracias or the French is merci. The answer is thank you. Correct. K-check. 
Question number 8. What is the general term given to a war between people of the same country? Romy. Civil war. Civil war is correct. Okay, check. Question number 9. Elementary math. Natawa sila. What are the prime factors of 42? Prime factors of 42. Okay, nobody got the correct answer. The answers are 2, 3, and 7. Okay, question number 10. In what province in Mindanao did the Ampatuan massacre happen in 2009 occur? Yen. Sultan Kudarat. Sultan Kudarat is Malik. <laughs> One try only. Okay, nobody got the correct answer. The answer is maginda now. Yes. Okay, number 11. Which Latin word for a goddess now refers to a famous female singer in the opera or pop music? Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is diva. Last question for this round. What will you get? If you divide distance traveled by the time elapsed. Yen. Velocity. Velocity is male. Romy. Speed. Speed is correct. Okay, check. That ends round number one. Thank you, Jules. After that round, we have Romy in the lead with 70 points, followed by Yen with 10 points, and Chila tying with Raywell. Zero. Yes. So, for now. For now. Kasi pwede pa sila bumawi later. Pero kilalanin muna natin yung ilan sa kanila. Si Romy ay isang community volunteer at isang English teacher. So Romy, ano ba mas mahirap? Maging English teacher o maging community volunteer? Siguro ano po, maging community volunteer. Kasi Bakit? kailangan mo talagang pumunta mag-immerse sa community. At saka hindi lang po kasi yung may kita mo yung pagod. Kasi pag... Uh, English tutor ka online, nakaupo ka lang. Pero pag community volunteer ka, kailangan mong pumunta talaga at saka mamuhay kasama yung mga tao dun sa komunidad. Napaka multifaceted yes. character tong si Romy. Mm -hmm. Pero yung iba naman, I'm sure madami rin silang pinaggagawa sa buhay nila. Pero si Yen, taking up food technology. Pag ganun ba yan, automatic ba na mahilig din kumain? Hindi naman. <laughs> Wow, napakapayat pa rin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Usually po kasi pag food technology, sinasabi na mahilig ka rin ba magluto? Hindi rin po ganun. Hindi so, rin. Basta interest nyo lang po yung food science, food tech. Then. Goods ka na po. Very interesting. Yes. Marami bang chemistry ang food tech? Marami po. Marami. <laughs> Tagagawa siya ng pagkain. Yes. But not necessarily pagluluto. Mm -hmm. But we would love to hear more about our contestants. But in the meantime, kailangan natin balikan ang ating competition at ang round 2. Susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Pika po na tayo ng points. Leading pa rin si Romy with 70 points. Sinusundan ni Yen with 10 points. Habol sila Shella at si Reuel sa ating susunod na oh, round. Anything goes kasi marami pang katanungan coming your way. In the meantime, may tanong naman si Prof. Neil kay Reuel. Tanong ko, binanggit sa bio mo kanina na mahilig kang mag-draw ng memes. So ang tanong ko ay, ano yung topics pag... Uh, bumubuo ka ng memes? Um, usually po, um, yung mga, uh, kunwari, magte-take ako ng photos ng mga kaibigan ko or kung ano man makita o aso na dumudumi sa daan. Gagawin, uh, idodrawing ko po yan at gagawin ko parang ano, yung exaggerated yung kanilang mga ginag. Okay. Yes. So, experiential. Okay. Ano mga nakikita niya at binibigyan niya ng expression pero exaggerated. Yes, okay. Okay. So now it's time for round two. So contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. 
Let's begin. Let's begin round two. In geography, what do you call the location north or south in reference to the equator, which is designated at zero degrees? Very well. Longitude. Mali. Romy. Poles. Mali. Pwede pang humabol, hindi na pwedeng humabol. The correct answer is latitude. Question number two. We will rock you and don't stop me now. Our music chart hit songs of which band led by Freddie Mercury? Pag hindi mo makuha ito. <laughs> Queen. Queen, of course, is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number three. What do you call the lymph tissues at the back of the mouth, which sometimes become swollen and infected and may require surgical... Romy? Tonsils. Tonsils is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number four. What 2,300-meter tall volcano in central Luzon erupted in 1991. Yan. Mount Pinatubo. Mount Pinatubo. Okay, check. Question number five. Who celebrated his 10th year as Prime Minister of China in 2023? Romy. Uh, Prime Minister Xi Jinping. Tama ang correct ng Paul Tsai student natin. Buti na lang. Okay, check. Question number six. In the movies, what do you call a small role where a popular actor makes a brief appearance? Very well. Cameo. Cameo is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number seven. Which city in Panay known for its dishes like bachoy, was declared a creative city of gastronomy by the UNESCO. Romy. Iloilo City. Iloilo City is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number eight, food paren. What do you call a usually expensive delicacy consisting of the eggs of various large fish? Very well. Caviar. Caviar is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number nine. In science, what do you call the transfer of heat by the motion of air as in a turbo broiler? Parang nakakagutom ang mga tanong natin. The correct answer is convection. Question number ten. In one of the top grossing blockbuster movies of 2021, King Kong gets to mix it up with what gigantic Japanese monster? Very well. Godzilla. Godzilla. Okay, check. Question number 11. What term refers to the right to vote in electing public officials and adopting or rejecting proposed legislation. Romy. Right of suffrage. That's the French term. In, in the English language, it's the right of suffrage. Okay, check. In basketball, which American mentor has compiled the most PBA championships won by a coach, including two grand slams? Correct answer is Tim Cole. And that's it for round two. Great job, contestants. Ngayon ay silipin natin ang kanilang mga scores. Nangunguna pa rin si Romy with 160 points. Wow. Nasinundan ni Rayuel with 50 points. 
Si Yen with 30 points. At si Shela hahabol. Hahabol pa. Sa next round. Pero hindi pa rin tapos ang laban. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Welcome back to K-Check. Prof To, meron ka daw katanungan para kay Shella. Sige. Uh, para sa chat, bro, paano mo nalaman na ikaw ay nasa backstage at hindi nasa front stage or on stage? Uh, nung nag-start, nag-start po kasi ako mag-theater. Simula po ng first year. Eh, nag-start po kami ng ano, pandemic. Eh, nung una po, hindi ko po gusto yung theater as in kasi... Wala na po akong maisip na ibang course po para sa akin. Pero nung nag-start na po yung face-to-face, -face, doon na po na ano yung, nahulma po yung pagkagusto ko sa pag-backstage. Yung nag-start po yung intensive class ng, ng second year. Pareho tayo, backstage <laughs> din gusto ko. Thank you everyone. Of course, before proceeding to the next round, just a brief recap. Romy at 160 points, Reuel with 50, Yen with 30, and Chela with a lot of catching up to do, pero talagang makakatch up pa siya dahil meron pa tayong parating na ultimate pagalingan round. Dahil dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Remember sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. What are we waiting for? Let's begin! So, welcome to K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Sir Neil, go ahead. Okay, unang tanong para sa Philippine history. Sa anong panguluhan na ipasa ang local government code? A. Corazon Aquino B. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo Romy A. Corazon Aquino okay, So, tatapusin ko lang yung mga pagpipilian. B. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo C. Jose Joseph Estrada D. Ferdinand Marcos Sr. E. Fidel Ramos. Siya ang unang babaeng pangulo ng Pilipinas na ipasa sa kanyang panunungkulan ang Local Government Code noong 1991. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A, Corazon Aquino, K-Check. Prof. Marla? Science naman tayo. What is the main function of red blood cells in the human body? A. Transporting oxygen. Romy. A. Transporting oxygen. Let me read the other choices. B. Fighting infections. C. Producing antibodies. D. Regulating body temperature. E. Secreting waste. Red blood cells or erythrocytes are the most common type of blood cell. Their function is to A. Transport oxygen. K. Check. <coughs> Hindi lang sa polisay, magaling si mm -hmm. Romy. Sumasayan sa Science din yun. 220 na. Okay, Prof. To. Tingnan natin sa arts and design. <laughs> it is the dominant object in a picture plane and usually the focus of attention. A. Figure and ground. B. Embedded figure. C. Alternating figure. D. Ambiguous figure. And E. Figure or form. Reuel? Letter E po. Tama. Okay, check. Next, Prof. Neil? Parang na, napahamon si Romy sa tanong ni Sir To. <laughs> At parang kinabahan. Okay? Pero I think kayang-kaya mo ang social sciences, geography, at history. At ito ang susunod ng tanong. Anong bansa o teritoryo ang hindi kasama sa British West Indies o Anglophone Caribbean. A. Bahamas B. Haiti C. Grenada D. Jamaica E. Trinidad and Tobago Napahamon rin sila sa tanong na ito. 
ang tinutukoy na bansa ay kolonya ng Espanya bago ito nahawakan ng France. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, Haiti. Thank you, Prof. Marla. Marine science. Which endangered marine mammal, often called the sea cow, can be found in some coastal areas of the Philippines and feeds on sea grasses? A. Blue whale B. Spinner dolphin C. Dugong Romy C. Dugong I'll finish reading the other options. D. Rizzo's dolphin E. Whale shark These mammals are threatened by habitat loss and pollution resulting from a steadily growing human population. The correct answer is C. Dugong. Okay, check. Prof. Doc? Sige. Sa art ulit tayo. Uh, this color scheme is a single hue when black or white are mixed. It produces various tints and shades. A. Analogous colors. B. Achromatic. C. Monochromatic. D. Hues. E. Values. Yes, Very well. Sipo. Tama, monochromatic. Okay, check. Thank you, sir. Prof. Neil. Okay, Southeast Asian history. Bukod sa Pilipinas, anong bansa sa timog silang ang Asia ang kasaping tagapagtatag o founding member ng ASEAN at Seattle? A. Indonesia B. Malaysia C. Singapore D. Thailand E. Vietnam Yes, yan. Si Singapore. Ah, uh, mali. Romy. B, Malaysia. Mali. Very well. A po. Which is? Indonesia. Indonesia. Mali. Sa kasaysayan ng SEA Games, silang may pinakamaraming medalya. Ang bansang ito ay nagsilbing buffer state sa mga kolonya ng mga Briton at Pranses sa timog silang ang Asia. Sa 20th century, tumindig ang bansang ito laban sa komunismo. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Thailand. General Science, which scientist proposed the theory of general relativity? A. Isaac Newton B. Albert Einstein Romy B. Albert Einstein I'll read the other options C. Galileo Galilei D. Stephen Hawking E. J. Robert Oppenheimer This German-born theoretical physicist is B. Albert Einstein K. Check Prof. Toh. Philippine art history tayo ngayon. Mm -hmm. An esteemed national artist from the UP College of Fine Arts, he worked with another national artist for film, director Manuel Conde, as production designer for the award-winning 1950s movie, Genghis Khan. He painted the mural Filipino struggles through history, permanently installed at the Philippine National Museum of Fine Arts. The national artist is hailed by his kababayan as the great Angonos mural painter. A. Vicente Manansala B. Carlos Botong Francisco C. Fernando Amorsolo D. Cesar Ligaspi E. Larry Alcala uh, His famous uh, painting mural dating naka-install ito sa Manila City Hall. Ngayon, nilipat na sa Philippine National uh, Museum of Fine Arts. Ang kasagutan ay si Carlos Botong Francisco. Thank you, sir. Prof. Neil. Huling tanong mula sa akin, ano ang huling dinastiya ng Korea na tuluyang nawala bunsod ng kolonisasyong Hapon? A. Kim B. Lee C. Park, D. Sung, 
E Y. Romy. D song. Male. Pray you well. Ipo. E. Uh, letter E, Y. Okay. Bahagi ang dinastiyang ito ng Joseon Kingdom na tumagal mula 1392 hanggang 1910. Ang tamang sagot ay letter E, Y, K. Check. Of Marla? Chemistry. <laughs> Which type of bond involves the sharing of electrons between atoms? A. Ionic bond. B. Covalent bond. C. Metallic. B. Covalent bond. I'll finish reading the other options. C. Metallic bond. D. Hydrogen bond. E. Peptide bond. This bond is found, for example, in oxygen, in nitrogen, and in water. It is the B. Covalent bond. Okay, check. <laughs> Last question. Kasi maraming ang chemistry sa food tech. Tama. <laughs> sa design tayo uli. Parang walang nakakasagot sa sagot na, sa tanong ko tungkol sa design. No? Ay, si Riuel pala nakasagot kanina. Okay. It is a distribution of visual elements such as point, line, shape, colors, and even white spaces are wings either symmetrical or asymmetrical. A. Balance. B. Equilibrium. C. Symmetry. D. Radial. Uh, e. Axial. Romy? Balance, A. Okay, check. Tama. Oh, masaya na ngayon. Kung so, mapapansin ninyo yung stage design natin, no? Nandyan sa inyo, sa uh, kanan natin yung mga contestant. Nasa left ang mga uh, panel of expert. Nasa gitna or full chrome ng balance ang mga host. Full Kaya full yan yung balance. Ka. Hindi siya center stage full chrome. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Very impressive round. Palakpakan ninyo Alex. ang bawat isa. That's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Romy, Romy our K-Check Daily Winner wow. with a final score of 280 points. Wow. Record-breaking yan. 280 <laughs> points. So we'll see Romy again on Friday when they compete with our other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. Maraming salamat din kay Shella, Yen, and Rayuel for joining. And of course, to the members of Panel of Experts, Prof. Neil, Prof. Marla, and Prof. Doc. This has been Attorney Gabby Concepcion. And I'm Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check. K -check.